Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Love's Data. In this video, I'm going to outline the benefits of using Google Tag Manager to manage your Google Analytics and other tracking tags. I'll walk through the basics of how Google Tag Manager works to centralize your tag management and how it allows you to deploy tags without having to modify the code on your website. I'll also outline the steps you'll need to take if you want to migrate from the standard Google Analytics tracking code to use Google Tag Manager. Let's get started. The benefit of using Google Tag Manager is that all of your tags will be stored and controlled in one place. You can use Tag Manager to test new tags before they're published on your website. This helps to ensure data is correctly collected and the right tags are fired for the right actions. Tag Manager can also help reduce the reliance on your web developer to implement new tags. There are a range of different tags that are supported by Google Tag Manager, and you can also deploy custom HTML tags. Using Tag Manager helps you streamline and improve the way you collect data. It's about measurement. It's always a good idea to consider your measurement plan when implementing tags, even with Google Tag Manager. Basically, this means we should use Tag Manager to track the things that are important to our business or organization. We want to tie what we measure to the analysis we want to perform and improvement we're aiming to achieve. Now let's look at how we track our website with and without Tag Management. Here's an example of a website that isn't using Tag Manager. There are four pages, each with different tracking code. The home page includes the standard Google Analytics tracking code and event tracking. We can also see other pages include custom tags, e-commerce tracking code, and even AdWords conversion tracking code. Without Tag Manager, each of these tags needs to be implemented separately on each page. This can quickly lead to problems. For example, if a page is updated, then tags can easily be forgotten. Now, if we're using Tag Manager, this will mean all of the tags are controlled in one place. Instead of having different tags on each page, we implement Tag Manager across all pages. We then use Google Tag Manager to deploy each of these tags on the correct page. It controls which tags are fired. If you're not currently using Google Tag Manager, you can plan your migration. Here are the basic steps you'll need to follow. Start by adding a new Google Tag Manager container to your website. Then you'll need to replicate all of the tags inside Google Tag Manager. If you have lots of tags and customizations, then this will take some time to ensure you've included everything you need. For example, e-commerce tracking, events, and third-party tags will need to be replicated inside Google Tag Manager. Now it's time to test your implementation. Once you're happy, it's time to publish your tags and remove the previous hard-coded tags from your website. So they're the steps you'll have to follow to migrate to Google Tag Manager and the benefits of tag management. Once you've implemented Google Tag Manager on your website, you'll be able to add new tags including tracking and other JavaScript to your website quickly and easily. For more advanced implementations like e-commerce tracking, you can customize the data you collect using the Google Tag Manager data layer. The data layer allows you to pass dynamic variables that are then used inside Tag Manager. How are you using Tag Manager? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, then please like it so I know to make more videos like this. And if you're interested in learning more about Tag Management, check out my other videos and my Google Tag Manager course. See you next time.